Hello and welcome to Arca. We are here at Sakuba this week. A really interesting, fun combo. We're doing some road racing here in Japan. I think this is a this is going to be a really fun one. Uh, very excited to get started here. Um, and I, I've always kind of liked how the Arca car runs road. Uh, I've enjoyed different combos like Lime Rock in the past. I remember we've done, and uh, that was uh, a good time. Here we are, the number three car by Road I rating, heading out for qualifying now. Settings I went with 63% uh, with brake bias and uh, left the steering ratio at 10 to 1. And uh, that's felt pretty good to me. We're going to be trying to get, um, well, if we can hit everything perfectly, we can get into the 57s. We, uh, my optimal lap is in the 57s, but I have not gotten a 57 yet. Because that requires you to put it all together, and uh, have not been able to do that necessarily yet. We're going to be a little uh, easier on the rear tires on the outlap, so we uh, hopefully have some good grip. Heading into turn one. So uh, if I can hit a solid... Ooh, don't overdrive it. Um... If I can hit a solid 58, that'd be good. But if I can hit everything perfectly and hit a 57, that would be really good. We'll see. We'll see about that. Green, green, green. We get a good run up to the line, if we can. Gets really loose out of this corner, though, so let's be okay. careful. Here comes your first time blast. Should be a good run to the line. A little bit of a tire hop there, that's okay. Shifting into first, get a run out of the first corner. I'm driving a little bit like a little baby right here. Because I'm afraid to crash it while trying to get a good lap. But we'll push a little bit more the second lap and see what happens. Oh, kind of unsettled through there. Not my smoothest effort so far, but the tires aren't quite up to temper or anything, so there's that excuse I can use love excuses for being slow. I need them. <laughs> so that's about a second off our optimal, but that still could be in the 58, so might not be too bad. Just a little slidey here. Let's try to straighten it out. Alright, and see what we got going on there. Let's drive into turn one a little harder, a little bit too hard maybe, but we'll get a good run out. Through that corner pretty good, that felt nice. Let's see if we can be a little smoother through here this time. Okay, not bad. I was definitely feeling a little bit better at this point. I overdrove that a little bit. Let's see if we can still get a good run through there. That's not bad at all. Eh, kind of spun the tires up, actually. And uh, a little earlier braking marker than I'm kind of used to at Sakuba. Get this heavy thing to slow down is sometimes a little bit of a task, but use the runoff there and get ourselves a low 58. So that's about as good as I've been able to run so far, so I'm, I'm content with that. Still haven't hit that 57, but low 58, that's actually my best lap yet. So, well, I will take it. Uh, I don't think I have winning speed by any means. Just uh, taking a look here. we got a couple people that are probably going to beat those pull times, too. Some crazy fast dudes. Getting into the 57s. Before uh, a couple tenths into the 57s, pretty comfortably making his way in there. I'm like not even looking at the track. <laughs> I probably should, so I don't give myself incidents out here for no reason. But looking at the standings, kind of seeing uh, what the times around us are. Uh, we actually had a, uh, the race split, which is nice. I wasn't sure what the participation was going to look like. Arca at a road course. But we got enough guys to split, even a little bit later in the night here. So that's pretty cool. Shifting really gets the thing unsettled. Kind of being careful. I 
Wait, I have not yet seen the uh, names I expected to be up top. I wonder if they're choosing not to qualify or something. Okay, that's interesting. The one car I definitely expected to be well into the 57s. He had the fastest practice time. Easily. But uh, he's put his laps in, and he is P6. So, he could uh, end up flying up on us. Probably shouldn't make it too hard on him if he's going to be faster. Would like to survive this race. That would be great. And we're actually getting ready to go already. Only five minutes, even though it's a road course. Should be enough time for everybody, though. I noticed a 5x for somebody in qualifying. They had a rough time. I'm just hoping we have a clean race. Hopefully, uh, you know, heading into turn one, there's not a huge catastrophe or anything. Qualifying here, really important. I'm glad I'm near the front because these guys way in the back. Probably uh, going to nearly be a standing start for those guys, unfortunately, because of how short the pace One length is. Line up on the right side. Pit road is closed. We'll get all-time optimal up. The estimated SOF is 1,933. That if seems like clean, a pretty accurate uh, estimate, actually. My uh, race lab is saying 1.9k strength of field estimate. That sounds about right. Probably uh, pretty close this time for once. And uh, I guess we'll get this all ready in case we need to use it in fast repair. Hopefully we don't, but it'll be there for us. Starting on the inside, I guess you could call it, here at a clockwise turning track, um, for the first corner at least. So, I'm happy with that. I think I'll want to be on the inside. Not sure what to expect in terms of cleanliness. I just, I hope we can survive. I hope guys give room. And there's no big, uh, bowling pins being knocked over into turn one. I think turn two could be real scary, too. Or at least, you know, that sharp left-hander. I don't know if that little, uh, bit between the first turn and the turn I'm talking about counts as a corner, but... I think you know what I'm talking about if you've ever seen Sakuba. Real big braking zone, sharp left hand turn. That could be a really dangerous spot, so. I'm uh, I'm happy we were able to pull out a, a P3 starting spot, because I think being in front of guys is going to be very helpful to us. We'll see what we can do with it. I'll be watching the four, do a pole sitter, get the launch, and probably not going to be too long before he actually starts going, so. Gotta be ready. Seems like a first gear start, too. Lots of room to work with in the first gear. Okay, that'll work. Using it in. Left side. Keep to the right. Someone going to our left. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Left side. Alright, Colton. Clear on the left. Start. We can build something from here. James is now in the lead. Alright, we survive so far. Scary, but we make it. Right side. Not expect to get to the outside of that guy there. There's an incident behind. Clear. Everyone pretty bunched up on each other. Oh, they're kind of sliding around. Car right. Still there. Still there. P5. Oh no. Oh no. We just have to hit the brakes. That sucks. We didn't wreck, but we might as well have because we had to brake for that guy who was wrecking. Huge slowdown right here. Checked up real bad. We are hemorrhaging spots early. Uh oh. Something's happening up ahead. It looks like they sorted it out, I guess. 
Yikes. All right. Well, at least we're clean. We'll have some time to uh, get things figured out, hopefully. There's an incident in Going wide up there. Oh my gosh, she's cutting right in front of me for some reason. And uh, missing the corner almost. It's being a little bit erratic. Trying to be kind of gentle on the rear tires. As much as I can. Kind of be smooth. Really slow. You gotta try to get around the, the guy ahead. Holding us up. I just wasn't aggressive enough on the initial start and it hurts us. Left side. Still there. Clear Guess we'll get him there. Come on, Colton. Nicely done. He's gonna come kill us. Right. What are you doing, man? Stay on the left. Clear Had to on the right. Avoid him because he was gonna wreck me. Fucking up his tires. We got around him, but then he misses his braking marker or something, drives in too hard, and then ends up getting around us because I had to avoid him, so that's great. And he's spinning, don't overcorrect. Thank you. But now, because I had to check up for him, the two's gonna catch us. Still there. That's frustrating. The lead is gone off. Keep the lead going off. What? Seriously, why do people keep running into me? What are we doing? People can't pass me without friggin' running into me. Come on, mate. We really need to get the hammer down now. All right. Well, hopefully the two's faster anyway, and he just drives away from us. But that's annoying. That he has to lean against me to pass me. That guy sideways? Is he wrecked? I don't know. Guys are driving crazy, though. Oh my god, the eight sideways. These guys' tires have to be molten hot, and that's why they're just sideways every corner. Just drifting every corner. Should pay off for us in the end, I hope, if we can avoid doing that to us, to our tires. <sighs> what are we doing? Okay, he cuts in front of me. He's spinning out again. This is this is annoying. I've had to check up so many times for people just lighting up the rear tires. Going through really slow here. Remember when we started in third, and then everybody passed us in the first couple laps, and now their tires are ruined? Looks like it's silver. Something's happening up ahead. Go right. Lap cars, that doesn't help us at all. Hurts us, in fact, because we have to take a shallow entry into that corner. Sideways again. That lap time was fifty nine point seven. We are so stuck. Please go. Cut under him here. Still there, hold your line. 
Fortunately, he gets a better run. Let's go was inside again. Left side. There's an infinite behind. Still there. Clear. Don't wait too long. Find that gap. <sighs> Scared to even get alongside him. I mean, look at that. It's just blocking the whole track because he's in every lane. Can't safely get around him. It's going two miles an hour into this corner. Well, shoot, if I had skill though, I'd be able to pass him, but I don't, so I'm just stuck here waiting. At least we got five seconds behind us. We're still P8, which is not bad, but I hate that we lost so much from where we started. Can't do anything about getting it back now. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. You just doing stuff up ahead. Perfect. My tires are starting to get lit up because I'm trying to get around him. Probably should just not even try. We'll let our tires uh, be better. Eighth place. really much time left either. It's a pretty short race. I mean, it's not a race. That's how they work, but sideways covering every freaking lane again. I see smoke like every quarter from far up in front of us, so apparently you can just kill your tires, slide sideways all the time, and it won't matter. It's every corner they're locking it up ahead. Is this guy finally going to spin out? No. Let's make us wait even more. Oh my god. Please. Dude. He's holding out of the spot like his life depends on it. Time was at Finally gonna get around. Please. For the love of God. Thank Christ. Oh man. Alright, don't mess it up now. I nearly messed it up. I'm trying too hard to get away from him because I'm scared I'll try to get alongside again. I get on the throttle too hard. Just gotta be patient with it. We're not getting any more spots, though. We lost way too much time. Even if we are faster than the guys ahead, it doesn't matter. Come on, Colton. Push car push, 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 this gear might not be the play anymore. In certain corners. Here, I think you definitely need it, but... Too hard.
It does not want to freaking rip up anymore. Maybe we were about here on speed anyway. Seems like uh, I haven't done a very good job with my tires, but hard to say. The captain, James, ahead is now 0.6. I think we're coming to two to go here. Race, this race has flown by. Two more, let go. Two laps left. There's no way I'm going to pass this guy unless he makes a mistake because the other guy I was much faster than and I couldn't get it done. This guy oh, it's kind of faster in the mid corner there, but this guy is just about faster than I am, I think, and so there's just no way I'm going to be able to get around him, so I better just bring this one safe, I guess. P7, unless they wreck up ahead. So I guess it doesn't matter that those guys were just locking up their brakes the whole race. You can just do that. <laughs> That's interesting. P7, white flag, one more lap. Sector 1 is 0.6 off the pace. Sector 2 I feel like is if I had just played track, it could be two -tenths off the pace better. And I, I feel like if I hadn't pushed so hard early trying to get around the guy, I'd be in much better shape. But coulda, coulda. Doesn't matter. This is where we are now. They're a little too hard. And it looks like this is where we'll finish. P7, I lost so many spots at the start. That really sucks. There's an incident in turn one. It looks like Patterson. Just, uh, we'll take it in right here. Turn nine. We think it might be. <sighs> well, Sir, I, I'm gonna have to look to back at this flag. opening laps and just see what went wrong. I just wasn't as aggressive really as well. other guys wanted to be, I guess. Hmm. So we start third. Inside. The ones on our outside. So outside in that corner is not great. Still fifth. And then they were like super slow through there, and I get on this outside without even wanting to be. Hmm. Should have cut down lower, I guess. I was afraid of, uh,. Catching up to the one too quickly because I knew he was going to have to break a little earlier. So I kind of take a wider course through the corner there. But that allows the seven to get alongside me. And then now I don't have the cor the angle I want into one. And then the eight spins, half spins. And then I'm stuck behind him for the rest of the race. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, I just I have to break for him because he's sliding through the corner, and then behind the thirteen, I finally I eventually get around him, 
Oh, no, that's right. He goes, he goes back around me again with a horrible dive bomb. I mean, look, I, I had to turn to the left here, entering a right-hand corner, because the 13's going to wreck me otherwise. I could see him coming in there, so I have to turn to the left and let him have his dive bomb, because otherwise I'm going around. So... He passes me, so I have to waste more time, pass him again, he spins out. And that, of course, because I check up for that, <laughs> gets the two alongside me, who then bodies me through the corner. He comes up way too far, and I was nice to him, and braked harder so that way I didn't hook him. So he gets to go by, and I lose more time. It's around the eight who immediately gets sideways because he's gassing it up too hard and comes cuts across my nose, nearly causes me to wreck. And then it's just like ten laps of being stuck behind the guy, getting sideways every corner. I could have been better and found a way to pass, but I was scared to even be alongside him. I don't know how these guys are sliding through the corners and still driving. I mean, every corner he's pitching it in. And then I'm just, I have to come out here because I'm afraid he's going to friggin' loop it. Enters the next corner, slides through. I'm breaking on a straightaway. I try to get runs, but it, it's like he's, he's throttling it up like wild. So when it does stick, he pulls away from me. I think he eventually like lets me go there. I guess that's what happened? I don't know. Move down low as if I'm gonna dive bomb him. And I guess he gives me the lane because of that. Maybe I should have tried that sooner. At this point, I mean, they're several seconds ahead. And then I'm making mistakes all on my own, so... Ah, really frustrating race, but it is what it is. Just some bad luck at the start, lost me a bunch of track position, and then uh, I'm not able to pass guys. It's pretty much the story of that. But anyway, the incidents. You can see uh, lap one, turn one, the six is going to tap the four after cutting some grass. And the nine's gonna get spun into turn whatever this is. Is that turn one? No. But I guess I should be thankful at least I didn't get wrecked. I uh, was able to avoid the guy running into my back end at one point, but you see these guys, these are the guys that are up ahead. Like that's how they're driving. <laughs> And I guess that's what you have to do to be fast. Like, this is what you have to do. You have to drive in super hard, slam on the brakes, lock him up, nearly kill the guy, cause stack-ups, and uh, you'll be faster. <laughs> Michael Waltrip not having a very good day. 15, the blue and yellow 15, that's what that makes me think of. He gets stuck there, and I think he just exits out. Three shifts down one too many times, it looks like. He'll spin it. Five just gonna run into the back of the two. Eleven going wide. Just never turned into the corner there. Back we got a spin out here. Gets on the gas too hard. They eventually does loop it. This was after, uh... Oh, this is after the end of the race, though. I thought he was going to do this just about every corner. We were behind him. But uh, he waits until after the race to do it, I guess. So. A little frustrating, but that's alright. Uh. At least we had a clean race. We, uh, didn't get any incidents. Uh, a handful of people were able to pull that off. 
but a little frustrating. We lost track position and they got stuck there. Just some bad luck, I think. And uh, maybe if I were better at passing, I could have subverted that bad luck, but not the case. We'll look at the race results. Uh, we're going to lose some road I rating, but looks like we should gain some, uh, I mean, we should gain some safety rating at least. So that's seventh place. We lose 22 I rating, but gain a little bit of road safety rating. I feel like I could have done so much better, but I don't know. I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm racing this correctly. It seems like those guys can just get away with driving like maniacs up there, like locking them up and drifting through the corners and you can kind of get away with that, and I'm just not comfortable driving like that. You can see my fastest lap time nowhere near those guys. I don't know. But again, I feel like I didn't have a chance to really drive hard till the end of the race, really. So, hard to say. But, that'll do it for this one. Sorry for being a little bit frustrated. Just, uh, tough situations. But, we, uh, keep it clean. That's good, and uh, we still finished top half of the field, so solid enough. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.